Hi everyone, my name is Laura Kiesel. I'm with Save Arlington Wildlife. Uh, this little video is to offer um, some information about our postcard campaign for the local control bill, which we actually officially kicked off a week and a half ago, but we're really getting it into high gear this week, um, starting the 24th, because these bills will be getting their committee hearing um, in the next few weeks, the tentatively scheduled for um, mid or late May. So we only have a few weeks to really make an impression in the state house to get this bill through. So just really briefly, um, I'm going to talk about why, why we're advocating for this bill as our priority and why postcards. So this bill, this uh, bill, which is again, the local control bill has a house version and a Senate version. The house version is um, H814 uh, is the number and the Senate version is S540. Now that can change. They change that they tend to change the number several times throughout the legislative session. Um, usually they're also identified by their sponsors. Um, the sponsor of the Senate one is Senator Moran um, and the sponsor of the House uh, bill, version of this bill is Carmen Gentle. And um, again, we kind of call it the local control bill. So we call it that because it literally means that this bill would let uh, lo local municipalities have control over regulating or restricting or banning um, any kind of pesticide. Currently state law does not allow towns or cities to regulate or ban any kind of pesticide, including rodenticides like second generation anticoagulant rodenticides. So I live in Arlington and here in Arlington, we wanted to pass a ban um, of escorts on private property since we're disproportionately getting so many wildlife deaths, including MKR bald eagle. Um, and a couple of years before that, her fledgling eaglet C25, we lost an entire family of great horned owls at Monotomy Rocks Park. And those are just the high profile ones. I mean, we get dozens and dozens of deaths every year of wildlife. And it also, uh, people's pets also are endangered and do get sick and some die and children are at specific, uh, at particular risk for Escar's poisoning. So, um, this is the only bill in the state house that could actually lead to banning escars in different areas. In addition to Arlington, the city of Newton is currently considering um, a home rule petition as Arlington did that would try to ask for the state permission um, to ban these. But instead of, and we do encourage municipalities to try to do these home rule petitions, but it's, it's an onerous process and they would each have to piecemeal put this home rule petition in. And if this bill would to pass like, Similar to the way we have banned um, plastic bags, um, leaf blowers in a lot of towns and cities, we would have that right to do that for escars. And that would at least start lowering the risks of these rodenticides. Now, if Arlington's ban went through last year, perhaps MK the Eagle would still be with us today because even though she um, travels throughout many different municipalities during the nesting season, she tends to stick close to home in, in and around you know, direct proximity to Arlington. So that's why we're really interested in this bill. The reason we're wanting to do postcards is because in a, in a typical week, our legislators in the state probably get dozens and dozens of emails and calls from people on an array of different issues and bills. Um, and on a high capacity week, when there's a committee hearing or a lot of voting going on, they might get hundreds of emails or phone calls. I mean, they likely get thousands within a legislative uh, session or year. And there are thousands of bills that get introduced into the state house every year. So there's a lot of competition and a lot of bills are worthy of consideration, but only a very small minority even make it through a committee hearing. Um, nine out of 10 of them or eight out of 10 tend to languish in committee and that's usually how they die. So if we can get this out of committee, um, that will really help increase its chance of passing this in the state house and becoming law. And usually the more co-sponsors that a bill has, the more likely it is to get out of committee. And to get your legislators to co-sponsor a bill that they're not paying attention to, we need to do something a little different. Um, similar, so if you're giving them something that they physically have to handle, like a legislator or their staffer, I think it's more likely to really get their attention. Just like the saying, a picture is worth a thousand words, like this postcard has a picture of MK, the reason for her death and the bill numbers and the ask right on the picture 
right on the cover of the postcard with her picture. And that might make a lot more of an impression than an email, which is, you know, again, competing with so many that it might just get buried in the shuffle. So without any further um, hesitation, I want to share my screen and just teach you all how to do this postcard. You don't have to leave your house. You don't have to have a printer. Um, all you have to do is pay a couple of dollars to this service. Um, and I'll also show you some other alternatives just in case that's still not an option. So this is the Save Arlington Wildlife webpage. This is savearlingtonwildlife.org. Um, or you can Google Save Arlington Wildlife. On our very home page, there's the SAWS postcard campaign. And um, right here, only a few lines down below the postcard thing, it says, please visit this page for step-by-step -step instructions. So you would do that, um, you'd click on that, and then that would bring you the postcard campaign for local control. This is its own um, sublink on our website. For some reason, it's not in our menu up here, but I will try to get that added in the next day or so, um, hopefully by tonight. Um, but if not, you can still find it through the homepage on that hyperlink for finding step-by-step -step instructions. So, um, first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna find the picture itself, this is it and you're gonna save it to your device. So that means you right click on it, see, and you'd hit save image as. And um, as you can tell, I've already like saved a few versions of it. So I'm not really gonna do it right now. Usually I would do something like, okay, um, something easy to remember, something like that. I'm just gonna say yes. So now that's in my right on my desktop, easy to find. Then you would go to post snap. Um, I put it right um, here. Like you just click where it says, you can click on the top of the link for post snap and that will lead you to here. Um, I'm gonna start it again. Let me see so that I can try to do it with you. So it's already saved it, but just in case, let me see if I can cancel this so you can Okay, so I'm gonna start again, just so you can see. So you'd hit post snap. It brings you right to the page where you'd upload your card. So with this little camera icon, you'd click on it, you'd go from device, you'd go upload photo. I saved it, like I said, right here as MK postcard on my desktop and I downloaded it and I'd click add photo. See, really easy. There it is, there's the postcard. Um, oh, I have to like change my copyright so it's not visible, but otherwise this looks good. And then here you'd add your message and you can just type in here and you can change the font. So dear Sean Barbely, Thanks so much for supporting this bill. I mean, Sean is actually a co-sponsor, but most, most legislators are not. This needs a lot of co-sponsors. So you might assume that they have not. So just say, if you haven't already, please co-sponsor this bill. You know, you only have a few sentences. You can shrink the font a little bit if you want to get a few more sentences in, but like really three or four tops. If you have a line or two about like maybe wildlife that died in your district, you know, say you're from Waltham and the first bald eagle that died was in Waltham, maybe mention that. Um, if you live where the one of the re wildlife rehab facilities are, where they're dealing with so many wildlife deaths, maybe mention that. Make it make it personal to the district and to yourself as a constituent, if you can. Um, again, you only have a few sentences, and and you know, be polite but make sure you're assertive about what you care about. And then after that, you'd hit save. It's right here in the top corner. And then um, you'd add their name and address. So in that same website with the step-by-step -step instructions, I do have a link where you can find your the address to your um, representative. I'm just gonna go there really quick. Again, so you can go on the, it says you can find the state house address for your legislators by clicking on this link. 
you just put your address in here. Um, you know, I'm going to put my old address. And as you can see, it takes you to someone's address. Now mine actually, my current rep is Sean Garbley. So I would just put copy and paste his email into this. So you'd put new name and address. So I put on Barbly I put his street name. This is in Boston, Massachusetts. And I'd get the zip zero two three three. Oh. oh, I have to put this up. So see, it would does the address. Here would be the message. Um, and then I'd pick a price. So I'd pick that one. I think. I don't know why it's not letting me see how to get to next. So there's the preview. You can edit if you want to, um, if there's something wrong with it. Otherwise, you'd approve and add to basket. Um, then you'd check out now. You could do guest checkout. Um, and then I would take my name and I'd put my email in that and you'd check out. And then I think it has a PayPal option or a credit card option. It's $3.49. I don't know if there'd be another 50 cents for tax, but it shouldn't be more than $4 overall and then that then they um they print it and ship it so you don't have to do anything after you've paid that another thing sometimes if people have asked me is well what if what if we don't we you know that's still money i don't like using credit cards online um again you can email but another option is you can fax and faxes are similar to postcards in that they fought force physical um they have that visual component and they force like a kind of physically handling of the material, which might get uh, attention more than a postcard. I mean, more than an email or a phone call, um, maybe not quite as much of a postcard, but still can do something. So um, Sean has his fax number listed. I do want to offer the disclaimer that for some reason, not all like Dave Rogers doesn't seem to have a fax number. I don't know if that means they don't have a fax machine or if it's just not listed. So it just might not be an option for everyone. But if your representative or senator does have a fax number listed, you could do that instead of a postcard if you really don't want to spend the money or you don't have money, times are tight right? for a lot of people. Um, you can go to fax zero. Um, I have this link on the website as an option. And it's the same thing. Um, you would put your you put your name and information, and then you'd put, you know, I put Sean Barbley. And then I just put what his fax number is, which is here. And I would just write my message in here. And I could also upload that postcard if I wanted to as an option, if I wanted to make sure he has something. So I could do that. And then I could say, dear Sean Barbely. Thanks for being an ally on this issue. You know, you write the, the name of the bill and then you just put the customer code in. And then you'd send the fax and that's it. And then what it does is it says when your fax is ready to send, you check your email 
and it sends you a verification link and you click on that and then it sends the fax. So really easy. Again, should only take five minutes. And then finally, if people are, are still hesitant to do either one of those or they may want to have more of an impression in another way, see here's the fax um, zero verification. You confirm it, you just click on that. You could also just try to maybe do a banner with that postcard cover. So you would literally just click on this. See my, here's my copyright, but it cut, cut it off in the thing. I'll work on that. So you'd co copy image and you'd paste it. And that would be like the top of the email. And you could then write in the body of the email what you want. Now that might have some drawbacks. Sometimes then uh, legislators think that that means that this is a form email and sometimes they don't pay as attention to form emails. It's just different when they get it in the mail. It, it, it impresses upon them that it takes more effort from the constituents so that they really care about this. Um, and if they get numerous ones that definitely will impress them. So I think that kind of concludes the tutorial. I'm going to fix some, tweak some parts of the postcard so that the whole image fits in, but I will get that up today. And I think if people start sending these postcards Tuesday for and uh, keep doing it over the next week or week and change, I think we can really get this bill out of committee and maybe fast tracked. It is a heavy lift, but it is not an impossible one. So thank you for your time.